Hello again. This is a very short video just to give people an update on the case of Bianca Williams, whose car was stopped by the police three years ago after it had been driven on the wrong side of the road and sped off when officers tried to stop it. This at least was what the police contended, and since the subsequent disciplinary hearing accepted their evidence, we might perhaps assume that it was true. Bianca Williams is an athlete and hopes to represent Britain at next year's Olympics. She said that the car she was in had been stopped by police because she and her partner were black. At the subsequent disciplinary hearing, two police officers were sacked after it was concluded that they had lied about smelling cannabis. The actual stop and search, though, including the handcuffing of Bianca Williams, was judged to be lawful given the circumstances. I always thought there was more to this incident than met the eye, and that there was, so to speak, a backstory. Last year, a car belonging to Bianca Williams was spotted by an automated camera committing an unspecified offence relating to driving. The police wrote three times to Bianca Williams, trying to establish who was actually driving the vehicle but Williams resolutely refused to tell them. She was then summoned for refusing to give the information, and in court it was announced that she had 11 points on her licence already. She was then banned from driving for six months. Despite saying this would be massively inconvenient because she has to drop her kid off at nursery and then go training and so on, well, some of us have to get around on buses and tube trains, so that didn't wash with the magistrates. During the investigation of the previous incident, it was revealed that Williams had been stopped by the police nine times in four weeks while driving, which suggests one of two things. Either the police in South London are tremendously racist and stop all black people all the time when they are out driving, or there is something going on that we don't know about. I'm open-minded about this, but I certainly find it curious that Williams was so determined not to reveal who was driving her car last year that she even went as far as accepting a driving ban herself. More to all this than meets the eye, I rather think.